Uh, parents having some tough conversations with their children tonight after a number of local schools in Albany, Runcer, Saratoga and Greene counties had to go into lockdown mode because of fake shooting calls to police. But the fear felt by the students and staff that was very real. The swatting incident coming up at tonight's Albany School Board meeting as News 10 ABC's Anthony Krolikowski reports. I'd also like to say good evening to our board. Questions came at the end of the meeting about the lockdown Thursday morning. Just before 9 a.m., the Albany Police Department notified Albany High School of a call claiming that shooting victims were present at the school. The school followed their protocol and was put into lockdown for a thorough investigation. At 9.20, the calls were considered unfounded and the school resumed normal activities. Even though it was a hoax, board members argued that the stress felt from the event was real. Even though it does create a lot of disruption and trauma, we have to take these threats seriously and we're going to continue to take those threats seriously and do what we can to protect our students. Interim Superintendent John Yagielski said on the school's website, I would like to commend all of the administrators, faculty and staff who responded so quickly to Thursday's alleged threat at Albany High and our students for their participation in our response as well. The school is set to receive safety and security updates in April. An independent review will be done by the New York School's Insurance Reciprocal to suggest accommodations. Before that happens, one concern brought up now during the meeting focused on budget voting being held during school hours in May. A few board members worried that members of the public may be able to come into contact with students then. Yagielski said a solution is in the works with his team. Going to ask them to go through each building and see what adjustments we would have to make to try to keep any problem between running the school with the children there and the voting. The superintendent urges parents and children to reach out to school officials and authorities immediately about any threats. Reporting in Albany, Anthony Krolikowski, News 10, ABC.